15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition, lift off. Power and telemetry nominal. All telemetry stations are receiving. You are looking at the Falcon 9 rocket as it ascends through the atmosphere, carrying the SALCOM 1A satellite to low Earth orbit. Vehicle supersonic. Right now, the vehicle is passing through max Q, which is the point of maximum aerodynamic pressure on the airframe. Vehicle the vehicle actually throttles itself down for this uh, portion of the flight in order to, re to reduce structural stresses. Altitude 30 kilometers. Third stage has been disconnected, and in just a moment, the second umbilical tower will separate. Power on board. There's the second tower. Command for ignition, oxygen. Launch command has been issued. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Engine turbo pump at flight speed. Engine at maximum thrust. Lift off. And there is lift off of the Soyuz MS-10 to the International Space Station, carrying Nick Haig and Alexei Obchinin to the orbital complex. This again is Nick Haig's first time to uh, launch to space and Alexei Obchinin's second. Hearing good first stage performance for the Soyuz, delivering 930,000 pounds of thrust from its four boosters and single engine. In the first stage, the Soyuz measures 68 feet in length and 24 feet in diameter. It's burning liquid fuel for the first two minutes and six seconds of flight. Sixty seconds into the flight. The pressure in the chamber is nominal. One copy. Uh, everything is well on board. The T minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. We have ignition. Two, one. And liftoff of the AEHF-4 mission carried by United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket for the United States Air Force. Now 20 seconds in a flight. P is going to close with control. You are hearing the voice of Patrick Moore providing launch vehicle Now passing ascending. 30 seconds in a flight. Mach 1, Alice 5, now supersonic. Now passing 40 seconds into flight. And we're experiencing a uh, telemetry dropout in the uh, Denver data station. At this point in the flight, RD-180 should be throttling back up to 100% thrust, passing through max Q. Now passing one minute into flight. Go ahead. Attention pour le décompte final. 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top Allumage Vulcan. Allumage de EAP, décollage. nominale, la trajectoire est nominale. Turning the flight mode on. Activating the thermal batteries. All systems are go. We have main engine ignition. Igniting the SRBA's AM lift off. We have a lift off of the H2A launch vehicle number 40 with the board Ibuki 2, the second greenhouse gases observing satellite in Halifaxat, a remote sensing Earth observation satellite from the JAXA Tanegashima Space Center, exactly at 108 p.m. on October 29, 28 p.m. Japan Standard Time. Following liftoff, the operation control of the launch vehicle has been switched from the blockhouse to the range control center. The H2A is now on the ascent above the Pacific Ocean to the southeast. One minute into flight. 
Ya ni tu. Hakiju, 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 Haki